All right, here's the mystery. How did ancient Egyptians build the pyramids of Giza using stones heavier than a school bus? It's a question that stumped historians, engineers, and dreamers for centuries. Imagine this. Over 4,500 years ago, workers somehow moved 2.3 million limestone blocks, some weighing up to 80 tons, without cranes, trucks, or even iron tools. The Great Pyramid stood as the tallest building on Earth for over 3,800 years. But how did they do it? Some experts think they used huge straight or zigzagging ramps made of mud brick and limestone chippings. Workers might have dragged the stones up these ramps using nothing but ropes and pure manpower. Sounds simple, but building and maintaining ramps big enough for such massive stones would have been a challenge all on its own. Now here's where it gets wild. Recently, archaeologists found ancient papyrus scrolls. Think of them as 4,000-year-old shipping receipts. They describe boats made of reeds and wood, carrying stones along the Nile during the flood season, then using a system of sledges and wet sand to slide the blocks across the desert. Yeah, wetting the sand actually made it easier to drag those stones. Science confirmed it in a lab. But wait, there are still questions. No one's found an actual ramp big enough or strong enough, and some experts believe there was a spiral ramp built inside the pyramid itself. Others think lost technology or genius innovation played a part. So how did they really do it? Maybe it's a mix of brute force, clever engineering, and a little bit of ancient magic. The truth is, the pyramids still keep some secrets locked away in the desert sands. And that's what makes them one of history's greatest mysteries. If you love a good mystery, hit follow for more.